Hey guys, welcome to Best Movie Recap. Today I am going to explain a 2016 American science fiction movie titled, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Warning. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Today's movie starts with the young Bruce Wayne coming out of the opera with his parents, a thief accosts them with a gun and demands Martha's pearl necklace. A fight breaks out, and in the struggle, both Thomas and Martha get killed. Then the thief runs away, leaving Bruce alone with his parents. The scene changed to a cemetery, where we see Bruce running away during his parents' funeral. He keeps running into the forest, and ends up falling down into a hole. After that, a swarm of bats surround him, and flies him back to the surface. Many years later, exactly during the fight between Superman and Zod, Bruce Wayne arrives in a helicopter, and sees the world engine destroying Metropolis. He contacts one of his employees at his building in the city, and orders him to evacuate the building. Bruce races to the building to rescue Wayne Enterprises employees, while the Kryptonian ship flies over the city causing significant collateral damage, but before he reaches it the Kryptonian ship collides with the world engine and creates a black hole that sucked everything. As Superman and Zod continue fighting, Zod's heat vision tears through the Wayne Enterprises building, causing half of it to come crashing down. Bruce finds a man named Wallace Keefe trapped under a heavy steel bar crushing his legs. He lifts the bar and two men pull Wallace out. Then Bruce jumps in to save a little girl before she is crushed. He asks her where her mom is and she points out to the Wayne building that is destroyed. At this moment Bruce is convinced that Superman will one day destroy the Earth and he must prepare himself to fight him when this day comes. 18 months later, two boys are swimming in the same place where the Kryptonian ship got destroyed by Superman, they find a huge rock which contains a large piece of kryptonite. On the other side, Lois Lane travels to Africa with a photographer to make an interview with a warlord. She and her assistant meet with terrorists and a detachment of American and Russian mercenaries led by Anatoly Nyazev. Unfortunately, Lois' photographer turns out to be an undercover CIA agent who was hiding a tracking device in his camera, he is killed after defending Lois, saying she didn't know anything about this. Lois Lane is taken hostage by the soldiers. After that, the mercenaries killed the terrorists and burn their bodies then leave before Superman intervenes to interrupt the conflict and killed the warlord who was threatening Lois. In Washington, D.C., the American senators received the testimony of a young woman for the attack on Africa. The later accuses Superman of murdering her parents. And the senator Finch believes that Superman must be held accountable for the destruction he caused. In Gotham City, the police come across a building where several women are locked in a cage. One of them claims that a devil rescued them. From upstairs, the police hear someone screaming, and after checking they find a man tied to the wall, with a bat symbol branded on his chest. A police officer then sees Batman in the shadows. He shoots at him, but Batman escapes. Batman becomes a ruthless and cruel vigilante, following the murder of his former partner Robin by the Joker. He is no longer hesitating to violate his moral code by eliminating and branding criminals. In the Batcave, Batman is investigating a mysterious weapon supplier called the White Portuguese, he is then confronted by his mentor Alfred who reproaches him for his violent practices and points out his impulsive behavior towards Superman. Despite Alfred's accusations, Bruce remains deaf to reason and continues his research on Anatoly Nyazev, a key witness in his investigation. Later on that day, Senator Finch goes to meet Lex Luthor, the CEO of the multinational corporation LexCorp. Lex introduces senators to the kryptonite, a radioactive mineral discovered in the wreckage of the fallen Kryptonian craft in the Indian Ocean. He plans to weaponize it as a silver bullet in case the planet endures another attack from other Kryptonians. Senator Barrows gives Lex access to the crash site of the Kryptonian ship in the center of Metropolis and to the General Zod's remains for analysis. On the other side, Wallace Keefe who is now confined to a wheelchair after losing his lower legs goes to the monument of Superman in Metropolis. Then climbs the statue and spray paints on Superman's chest. Clark Kent who is now working as a reporter for the Daily Planet watches it on TV and feels guilty. Meanwhile, Bruce Wayne was watching a clandestine fight and then meets Nyazev, 
his prime suspect in the white Portuguese case. He approached him and secretly hacked his cell phone. Going back to the Daily Planet office, Lois Lane discovered new information about the bullet she found lodged in her notebook from the shootout in Africa. But Clark wasn't happy because she didn't tell him about it and she may get hurt, then Perry give him an invitation to cover a fundraiser hosted by Lex. Meanwhile, Senator Finch visits Lex in his house and attempts to hold off Lex from continuing with his experiments, saying take a bucket of piss and call it Granny's Peach Tea. Take a weapon of assassination and call it deterrence. I know what you are planning to do and you won't fool me. From the hacked information Bruce suspects Alexander Luther of dealing with the criminal Anatoly Nyazev. Then Alfred tells him that he's been invited to a fundraiser hosted by Lex. He was planning to go as Batman and then changes his mind while leaving he sees a suit that belonged to Robin. Bruce attends the fundraiser and Clark was also there to cover it. He sneaks away from the party and with Alfred's help opens the lock of a safe at Lex's house to seize a hard disk containing precious information. Then Bruce and Clark meet, both of them speaking against each other's secret identities. Wayne has the intimate conviction that Superman is a danger to the nation while the later wants to put an end to the violence of Batman. Alfred tells Bruce to recover the flash drive, but Bruce discovers that it was taken by a mysterious woman named Diana Prince. Wayne tried to stop her, but she escapes in her car. In the meantime, Clark sees a report on TV of a raging fire in Juarez, Mexico. He rushes there as Superman and saves a young girl from a burning building. As Superman continues his heroics, various reporters and commentators note that many people view Superman as a savior, while others see him as a clear threat. Meanwhile, Lois is investigating the origin of the bullet she found and meets with General Stanwyck and told him that the US military may be involved in shady dealings with someone like Nyazev. Bruce finds Diana again and tells her that she stole something from him. But she said I didn't steal it, I just borrowed it, and you will find it in the glove compartment of your car. Superman visits his adoptive mother Martha Kent over his concerns about how the public views him. But she assures him that he is doing the right thing and encourages him to keep doing what he is doing. While Bruce Wayne decrypts the hard drive stolen from Lex Luthor, he has another dream in which the future has become dark as a result of an alleged attack by Superman. Bruce's Batman encounters some mercenaries that apparently work for Superman. He engages in a fight with them, then used a gun and kills off these men. At this moment a swarm of insect creatures descends and starts attacking. Then Batman is knocked out and taken captive. He wakes up in a dark room. After that, Superman arrives and cuts off two men next to Batman with his heat vision. He then pulls off Batman's cowl and seems to blame him for whatever has happened to Lois. Superman then crushes Batman's chest. After that, Bruce wakes up with a jolt, just as a strong burst of electricity appears from it the Flash, warning Bruce of a threat and telling him that he was not mistaken and that Lois Lane is the key. Bruce then wakes up with the data decoding is complete. He discovers that the white Portuguese is not a man, it is a ship carrying fragments of kryptonite. On the other side, Clark receives an envelope that contains pictures of the criminal who was arrested and then killed in jail because he was branded by Batman. Out of rage, Superman decides to investigate more about Batman. He visits Santos' wife to ask her more about her husband. She tells him what happened to him was injustice and Batman is doing whatever he likes and no one will stop him. In the night, Batman goes out to steal the kryptonite from Lex Luthor, he starts chassing Nyazev and his goons by the Batmobile. But Superman interferes and causes him to crash the Batmobile. Then Superman said to him the next time they shine your light in the sky, don't go to it. The Bat is dead, bury it. Consider this mercy. Before Superman leaves Batman asks him, Dear Blade. Nyazev took advantage of this and manages to escape with the kryptonite, but Batman has already put a tracking device in the truck and discovered where they will stock the kryptonite. On the other side, Lois meets General Stanwyck and gives him the bullet so he can investigate it. The next day, the African witness who earlier said that Superman killed her parents meet with the Senator Finch and confesses that all she said was a lie, her parents are still alive, and Lex forced her to say that. 
Meanwhile, General Stanwyck tells Lois that what happened in the desert was an ambush for Superman, revealing that somebody wanted Superman to look guilty, and the metal of the bullet she find was developed by LexCorp Company. Later on that day, the Senator Finch summons Superman to a congressional hearing at the U.S. Capitol to debate the validity of his actions. Wallace Keefe was also there to testify against him in a special wheelchair given to him by Lex after taking him out of the prison. Superman arrives in front of a crowd that is half in support of him and half against him. Bruce watches from his office as he receives numerous checks and pictures with written taunts against him, such as you let your family die. As Finch begins to speak to Superman, she stumbles through her speech when she realizes that Lex is not there. She sees a jar of urine on the table written on it Granny's peach tea, something she said to Lex earlier, after stopping his project. Before she realizes what going on, a bomb in Wallace's wheelchair goes off, destroying the whole building and everyone inside. The whole world then begins to suspect Superman's involvement in the destruction of the building. Bruce gets angry and steals the kryptonite from Lex Company after destroying the lab and eliminating all the guards there. After that, Batman starts training and pushing his body to the limit to be able to stand against Superman in the final battle. He also used the kryptonite to make four grenades and a spear to kill Superman. Bruce then accesses the flash drive from LexCorp and discovers files on several metahumans. He sees a mysterious woman who looks like Diana Prince wearing a special kind of armor in a photo taken during the First World War. Going back to Metropolis, Lex goes to the Kryptonian ship with Zod's corpse. After gaining enough knowledge from the ship's database, he drops Zod's body into the water of the Genesis chamber and drops some of his blood onto him, preparing to create something horrible. Meanwhile, Clark travels to the Mount of Everest, where he sees his adoptive father Jonathan who gives him guidance. In the night, while Martha was leaving her job she saw a car following her, she tried to run away, but a van pulls up and a group of men grab her and take her away. In Gotham City, Batman chooses an abandoned building, then sets some of his equipment and turns on the bat signal that shines in the sky. Back in Metropolis, Nyazev kidnaps Lois and then takes her to meet Lex who was waiting at the top of LexCorp Tower. After a small conversation, Lex pushes her off the tower as a bait to lure Superman to him, and Superman arrives within few seconds to save her. Then he flies to confront Lex. At this moment, Lex reveals his plan. He did everything to increase Batman's hatred for Superman by causing the explosion at the Capitol and by accentuating Bruce Wayne's guilt over the death of his employees in Metropolis. Superman refuses to fight until Lex shows him pictures of Martha and threatens him to kill her in one hour if he doesn't bring him the head of Batman. Superman then flies over to Gotham to find Batman. Meanwhile, Diana Prince checks her computer and receives an email from Bruce that contains the metahuman files including her picture and three other individuals. The first one is Barry Allen outside his Flash costume, stopping a robber in a convenience store with super speed while avoiding detection. The next one is Aquaman being detected before using his trident to get him out of sight. And the third one is a man named Victor Stone being experimented on as most of his body is gone. The scientist performing the experiment uses a particular box that causes Victor's body to fuse with machine parts, turning him into a cyborg. At this moment, Superman finds Batman in Gotham City and asks him for help, but the latter does not give him time to explain himself by having hidden traps in the meeting area. Batman goes after Superman and takes advantage of the element of surprise. A fight begins between the two superheroes, where Superman holds back his blows and tries to reason with Batman who manages to take advantage of the gas grenade he made from the kryptonite which weakens Superman. After that, Batman throws Superman to the ground from a few floors up, bringing him down hard. Batman ties Superman's feet together and drags him to a spot where he plans to finish him with the kryptonite spear. But before he can strike the killing blow, Superman pleads with him to help him save Martha. When Batman hears that name, he remembers his mother and then had a flashback of her death. Then shouts, why did you say her name? And suddenly Lois shows up and explains to him that Superman's mother is also called Martha. And he was forced to fight you to save his mother. 
Batman then decides to stop fighting and agrees to go rescue Martha, while Superman stops Lex who was in the Kryptonian ship. With Alfred's help, Batman locates the warehouse where Martha is being kept by tracking Nyazev's cell phone. He makes his way through the henchmen, using some of his gadgets to help. He makes it to the top, where he finds Nyazev ready to use a flamethrower on Martha. Batman gets one goon to shoot at Nyazev's tank, causing him to blow up and then save Martha from the explosion. On the other side, Superman faces Lex, who learns that his plan has failed. However, his backup plan is almost complete. Zod has now completely transformed into Doomsday, a gigantic monstrosity that feeds on energy. Superman fights him across the city, with the military intervening by launching a strike against Doomsday. As Superman takes Doomsday above Earth, they are hitting with a nuclear missile, but Doomsday falls back to Earth with more power. While Superman waits for the sunrise in space to regenerate, Batman shows up and attacks Doomsday who fires a blast in Batman's direction, but it is deflected by the gauntlets of Wonder Woman with her sword and shield, and she joins the battle. Superman flies back down to stand alongside with Batman and Wonder Woman. Meanwhile, Lois is looking for the spear that she threw in the water, and she nearly drowns, but Superman hears her and goes to rescue her. Lois retrieves the kryptonite spear designed by Batman to kill Superman, but Doomsday's strength is deadly, and only Superman can get close enough to kill it. After that, Superman tells Lois that he loves her, and then took the spear and heads to Doomsday. Batman uses his last gas canisters on Doomsday, while Wonder Woman tries to subdue the deformed creature. And Superman who was weakened by the spear's kryptonite radiation sacrifices himself by impaling Doomsday, but the later pierces his heart with one of his claws. The fight ends with Superman's screams sending sound waves through the sky. Visibly disturbed and even saddened, Batman carefully wraps Superman's body in his own cape and hands it over to Lois Lane who feels sad and cries on Superman in the company of Batman and Wonder Woman. Going back to the ship, Lex is arrested by the soldiers and then has his head shaved in prison. Batman pays him a visit and threatens to kill him for his crimes holding a hot brand to Lex's face, but instead of branding him, he punches the wall behind him and tells him that he has arranged for him to be transferred to Arkham Asylum and then leave. Lex is seized with paranoid delirium by his discoveries in the alien ship, screaming that they have been unmasked and that a new threat is approaching. Everybody comes together to mourn Superman's death. Martha gives Lois an envelope that Clark was going to give it to her. It contains an engagement ring. A funeral is held for the fallen hero, with people all across Metropolis holding a vigil for him. Bruce speaks to Diana and says he plans to get the rest of the people like her together. She says that they may not want to be found, but Bruce is certain that they will need to come together to fight. In the last scene of the movie, Lois drops some soil into Superman's grave. Once she leaves, we hear a faint heartbeat coming from the grave, followed by some of the soil rising in the air. Thanks for watching, if you like the video put a like and share it, also don't forget to subscribe for more, have a great day.